in the woods Afternoon guys, Dave Canberra at the Pathfinder School. I had a few questions about this new tarp and how it works with a hammock and a diamond fly situation. also had some questions about how to set that tarp up in a few different configurations. So I thought what I'd do today is go over that with you. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so first let's talk about hanging our hammock. Real simple, I got a couple pieces of 3 8 rope here, it's about 400 pound breaking strength. And it's probably six or eight feet long. All I'm going to do is come around the tree, I'm going to fold it in half, come around the tree, and pull it tight on itself, just like that. Then I'll come over here and I'll tie a knot, so I'm just going to turn the rope over, put it through, and pull it down. What that gives me is, I'll hang my hammock here, and that gives me a self-releasing knot on this side, so that when I'm done, all I have to do is pull it out, and it's ready to go. It's a very easy knot that's very easy to get undone. And I can hang my hammock here. And that's where I'll put my first hook. So I'll put my first hook right there. Okay. On my second tree, I'm going to do virtually the same thing. I'm going to come around put my rope in. I've got my two tags. If my tags aren't even, I can adjust it. Get those evened up. Put it around the tree approximately the same height the other one is. Cinch it down, just like that. Measure up about where I want to be with my hammock. And go ahead and do the same thing. And tie that knot that comes out very easily. Turn it over on itself, pull it forward, just like that, and the hammock's going to hang right here, or right here, it doesn't matter. Now remember that your hammock is going to stretch, your ropes are going to stretch. Generally speaking, you don't want this thing 2 by 4 tight, but if it's a little bit tight in the beginning, it's okay because it's going to stretch out. But you want a little bit of slack in that hammock to make it more comfortable to sleep, especially if you've got a double wide, because a double wide hammock allows you to sleep on your side if you're a side sleeper, instead of just sleeping on your back. If you make this thing two by four tight, you're gonna be stuck sleeping on your back for sure. Okay, now you need to take a look at this thing and decide, you know, is it the right height? And if it's not, you can adjust it. Looks to me like the line on the right hand side needs to go up a little bit. Not a big deal. If I've got a branch in my way, I'll just trim that off. Then I can adjust it up to where I need it. What I don't want with this thing is I don't want to be downhill with my head or I'm going to wake up with one heck of a headache in the morning. Now, I can stretch this thing out, sit down in it. Might help if I pull my tomahawk and my haversack off. Sit down in this thing and stretch it out a little bit. Lay down in it and see which way is going to be the best. That's a little bit downhill. So if I turn around, I should be uphill. Now I should be good to go. Okay. Now let's fly a tarp. Okay guys, so this time we're going to fly this tarp in a diamond. I'll just throw it over the top of everything here to get where I want to be. And then we're going to do this very similar to what we did 
yesterday as far as the knots go. So we'll walk through that again real quick. Again. Okay, again on this one. The first time we tie this, we're just going to basically put in a holding pattern here. We're not really trying to get it tightened up yet. So all we really need to do is pull our tarp over and just put a quick knot in it that we can get out pretty easy. And then we'll stretch it from the other end. And then we'll come back and tighten this one up. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to put this loop that we've got on here. Give ourselves a self-tightening knot. Just like that. Grab our other corner. Go ahead and drop our loop through it. Just like that. Or drop our rope through it. And that will allow us to pull it tight. Just like this. Now we can just come through our existing loop and use that for leverage. All right. And then all we're going to do is pick up that loop, pull it through, and cinch it down. And that gives us a trucker style hitch. And then I'll put one half hitch in that for security. Right there. I'll center all that up. Make sure that's good to go. That's good and tight. Now we'll go and tighten up the other side. Okay, so we put a real quick one in here. We're just going to undo that real fast. Go back through our loop over here like we did the last time. Which gives us a tensioner. And we can tighten this right up against the tree if we want to. And then we can pull it out a little bit. Not a big deal. That allows us to tension that thing as tight as we want to get it. There's our tag. One little half hitch for security. Then if we wanted to, we could go and retighten again on the other side. But I just like to even them up on the tree. Make sure they're nice and stable. That they're not going anywhere. And we're pretty well good to go. Okay, so now basically we've got our hammock covered. It's only a matter of doing the same thing we did again with the other tarp where we took our rope and we ran it through here. Ran it through a stake, put a stake in the ground wherever we wanted to do that at. We get a close up on that for you guys. Okay. So we will pound our stake in the ground here. We've ran our line through it. Pounded it down. Now here's our loop on this side and we're pulling through the stake on this side. And then all we have to do is go through here to create a tensioner and we can slide that up and down wherever we want it. Just like this. And then again, all we have to do is tie that same trucker's hitch or trucker's knot in here again. Now the easy way to do that, and I'm doing this backwards for the camera, but the easy way to do that is just to hold this, drop yourself a loop over the top, grab it with your finger and pull it through. Okay, so again, you know, I'm through my tensioning knot right here, my tensioning loop, pulling down. I'll adjust it where I want it by letting it slide, pull it down, hold on to it, throw it over the top. All of your tag can go over the top at that point. And then we'll just reach through and pull that loop tight just like this. And then we'll put a half hitch in it for security just like that. Okay, so once we've done both of our tie outs, you can see that the hammock is completely covered. No problem. I'll crawl inside there and show you what that looks like real fast. Again, you know, I've got this pouch up here. I can put stuff in if I need to. Or I can tuck it up inside. No problem.
Get a comfortable night's sleep in this for sure. Rain, storms, doesn't matter. You can always drop the pitch of this down, depending on weather. But you're covered completely from end to end with this tarp from getting any water on it. And these will actually act as drip lines right here. The water will come down here and drip down. Just a real quick side note for you guys. One of the things that I like about having that eye hole on that stake and being able to run my rope through the stake, besides the self-tightening ability, is that if I drive that stake real far in the ground, it gives me leverage to pull that stake up out of the ground because I can use that rope to pull it up out of the ground. And that can help a lot if you're driving stakes into really hard ground. Okay, just for quick demonstration's sake, you know, I've laid my weight on this hammock now and I'm going to undo it. I want to show you how easy these knots are to get out. Pull on it, it's done. No muss, no fuss, easily adjustable. Okay, for this next shelter, you know, we've got an overhanging branch right here coming off this oak. Comes way out over here over the trail. This would be a good spot to set up the next type of shelter we're going to use. So we're going to set up what I call a reverse wedge. I'll show you that right now. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take one of my ropes and I'm going to, again, I've already got that loop on the end, which makes it very easy to adjust. And I'm just going to throw it over the top of the branch that I'm going to use. Make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And then I'm going to take one corner of my tarp and I've got this set up in diamond type fashion at this point. Bring it up through. And again, I'm going to use this for a tensioner. So I'm going to bring this up about the height I want it. And I, again, I can adjust all of this very easily after the fact with this trucker's hitch type knot. So again, I'm just going to tie that quickie knot in there. And I'm not even going to put the half hitch in it right now because I'm going to adjust it anyway. Okay, guys, I flipped this around to get this thing out of the sun so you guys can see it better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the back corner. And I'm going to pull that back as far as I can. And stretch it out tight. And then I'm going to stretch out my corners and pull them tight. Now at this point, if I'm happy with my height, I probably would put that second half hitch in there for security and just wind up the rest of that line or toss it on top of the tarp, one of the two. And that gives me what I call a reverse wedge. It's very much like a plow point with a very high front end so that I can get underneath there. I'm not too worried about the rain because I've got a high pitch, but I've got plenty of cover and a place for shade. Now at this point, I could take a couple more of my stakes and I could stake this out too. And that would tighten it up even more on both sides. That would take five out of my six stakes. And that would tighten all of this looseness up right here very, very well if I were to do that. All right guys, well I'm Dave Canberra at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me for another video on a couple of just quickie tarp setups that you could use for your hammock or for sleeping on the ground. I appreciate all your views. I appreciate your support. I appreciate everything that you do for me, my family, and my business. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can.